Hey everybody, welcome back. We're still doing DC. I'm going into something. Some books I decided to grab, and this is actually two of them. Uh, first one is The Fury of Firestorm, number one. Gone is Ronnie, Raymond, and uh, the Professor's fusion. And it turns out Ronnie is now a football star, and Jason, who was the current day one until Ronnie came back from the, the dead in Blackest Night, Jason is a writer for a school newspaper, and he's a huge uh, scientist, apparently. I want to say scientist, like he's very good with chemicals and scientists. Now where are you going? Yeah, now where are you going? Remember she wanted to use the computer book? after she was gone? I think it was your last book. Alright, see you later. No, I'll be back. I'm gonna just do something real fast. I will explain. Go ahead, yeah. go. So, um, they don't get along at all. And it turns out people, this agency comes after Jason because they want the Firestorm formula which he's made. And Firestorm has existed before apparently. So anyway, um, Jason opens up the chemicals, he becomes Firestorm, Ronnie becomes the classic Firestorm. Uh, I'll show you the splash page. Uh, it was pretty epic. Good artwork. It was alright artwork. Uh, it's a good artwork. Um, oh, I like it. Uh, here we go. The two Firestorms. And the rest of the book, Ronnie is fighting Jason because he doesn't like, he thinks that Jason turned him into a monster. For some weird reason, there's a huge explosion and they fuse into this big fury. His name is Fury. Well, fire and fury. Yeah. I'm being honest, I really want to drop this, but I'm going to pull an amber and say it left me at such a cliffhanger that I actually want to know what this whole fury bullshit is. So I'm going to actually stick around for um, one more issue, because they're not that expensive. These I'm it's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. like, we'll be waste I'll, of I'll, paper. I don't even care about what happens to that. But this, on the other hand, has promised, possibly. It's oh, I guess they're going. I see. One more issue. One more issue won't kill me. No, it well, won't. I mean, you just got to check it out. So know, I'm on the fence. Yeah. This I'm also on the fence with Voodoo number one. Um, Shapeshifter, just like Jean Jones, she's an alien living on Earth. The whole book is about her being in a strip club and these agents that play like the MIB, Men in Black, and uh, they're uh, they're there to, to find and to capture her. The female agent leaves because she thinks the place is degrading. The male agent stays, and spoiler alert, she turns into her alien form, which I'm going to say you guys can check this book out if you're that interested, and kills him. And then at the very end of the book, shapeshifts into him. And uh, I'm guessing she's going to pretend to be him. On the fence, going to get the next issue, but to be honest, the artwork's great, by the way. Artwork, ooh, nice candy. Yeah, artwork is great, but story needs work. Gonna... Needs work, indeed. Mm -hmm. The weaker of the four Batman titles, Batman the Dark Knight, number one. Bruce Wayne is um, at a, a fundraiser. To be honest, I thought he would be a since he's more of a Batman. Well, you didn't have a chance to read it. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Is that saying a fundraiser? I'm not trying to downgrade anything. No, I would like to do Batman. Batman. No, I would like to Batman. The artwork is kind of... Going, I don't want to take away from that. I'm very surprised because uh, David Finch is doing the art in this book and his art looks a lot different than in his last... Year. When he did the Dark Knight, the, the five mm -hmm. issues before this, his I art was like great, it. but now his artwork kind of got a little... Um, I a like little Batman. off, a yeah. tiny bit off. Like, the cover is great, but then the inside... This is what I'm going to get at. Uh, some lieutenant is bothering um, Bruce Wayne about Batman Incorporated and that he had that Batman has and him have somebody on the inside of the police station and he wants to know who. He won't answer and he comes into, he meets up with this girl called Jaina, Jane, Jaina Hudson? Let me see. Jaina Hudson? Jaina Hudson. Yeah, Jaina, Jaina Hudson. Hudson. And, um... Her last words in were, uh, catch me if you can, and she walks off. He does a couple of handshakes. There's a breakout in Arkham for the second issue now in the new oh, number like ones. That. This is a breakout. All the supervillains break out. You see everybody except Two-Face, and you find out why at the end. So, uh, this is the second time now. If you remember in Batman, I want to say Batman, there was a breakout in Arkham. Yet again, another breakout in Arkham. That's two stories that are almost identical. Batman shows up, puts everybody in their place except Two-Face. Cameo appearance of somebody that's going to be later on in The Dark Knight, the Rabbit Woman, who I have no idea who she is no, yet. Wow, and Two-Face comes Rabbit. out, and now I, feel like, now I feel like I'm playing Batman off the Asylum again. You have a juiced out Two-Face, and this is the stupidest line ever. Two-Face no longer, Batty Boy. 
You can call me Baddie one boy. face. One face? Baddie boy and one face? Okay, that You is, can call me one face? That's like a five-year-old with That is the stupidest line. Yeah. That is the stupidest line to end and the book with. And they put in green one face. Why do we have to call him one face? He still has two faces. He's still two face. Why one do we have face? to call him one face? Just, the the whole thing you. is dumb. From baddie boy to one face. I think they're kind of... Uh, the Try line. harding a bit mm. much. A bit much. We'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm. bit much. I'm gonna say I'll be back for the second issue, but this is definitely the weaker of the four Batman books. Make sure I want to get Batman one. Mm -hmm. I detective, but we're doing that. Okay. That the Next thing. book, Joe, is yours also, but you were on the fence about this, I believe. I'm Savage, let me show like, first. Savage yeah. Hawkman sure. number one. Yep. I'll okay. tell you why. I'm 50 50. I'm gonna get the second one because I'm curious to see actually. I'm not gonna get too many so spoilers away. Yeah, I'm on the fence. Uh, for the cliffhanger, for those who didn't read it, but basically. Uh, Paul oh, Carter, I believe his name is. Paul Carter. Yeah. Carter it's, Hall. Oh, Carter, Carter Hall. Hall. Carter Hall. He Carter Hall. That's right. Well, Doctor Professor Hall, what they call him, does not want to be Hawkman anymore. But at the same time, it seems like the suit has some compelling power over him. And spawn reference. Another much. spawn reference again. Wow, old, so many Yeah, spawn and, and Venom. True. True. Oh, and Venom. But I was spawn. I was thinking spawn when I first read it, and it, it draws him in. But he's fighting to be Hawkman. He does not want to be. And he kind of fights off the superpower at the okay. beginning, but then pretty much uh, he, they're on a boat and like, what's it called, they need him, his help or something, I'm not going to give too much away, like I said, uh, what's it called, you guys can read, pick it up and get it, it's okay. And they need his help to figure out some sort of experiment that goes awry, and like, pretty much the professor somehow gets, uh, which his name is Dr. Benson, he well, changes, Dr. Benson. yeah, and Maybe it's he's pretty thing. much... Uh, Hawkman's arch rival. I'm not gonna say what happens, what Carter does, but let's just put it this way. For some reason, I'm not gonna say how or why he has no choice but to become Hawkman. I guess it's just in his blood. I'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, so we pretty much. I think this was the epic part, which I liked a lot. I'm gonna if I can get to it when yeah, he turns into Hawkman again. again. I'll hold it out. So you I'm can hold it. I thought that was pretty cool when he becomes the Hawkman to fight. His arch nemesis, which is to be continued, I'm not going to tell you. No, it's Morpheus, Morpheus, I forgot his exact name, I'll tell you guys in one, one more. second. There. Yeah, yeah. Morpheus. Yeah. And it, they had a so-so battle Sounds at the familiar. end, but the battle's yeah, to be continued in two of them. That's why I'm Morpheus. sticking around. Because yeah, the I'm middle spiding. kind of dragged on with that, the bolt thing, but I... Once okay. again, Joe, once again, Joe, a comic that I would, I, I was, it was on the no list from day one. I, well, I'm just not a whole put it nice. We have to Once again, opinions, congrats, so. uh, 300 episodes. I'm very glad to finally be doing reviews, but you know, you've been sad this next one. If you are watching videos, I, get, I got the last chapter. of the... Yeah, you honestly did. Yeah, I did. But there are miniseries coming out Hoping, next year. Yeah, but so. I even told him, I'm next to, so I want to get a good issue. But it was okay, I would say. Oh. If you have the money, get it. Sorry, Mike. It's Yours are there. Yours are there. I, I know they're there. I'm like saying, when? That's when? They're coming. The I'm sorry, guys. I know now. you guys are waiting for Mike. Teen Titans number one. Uh, the government, uh, the secret agency, nowhere. These, this book is going to be connected to Superboy, just like Animal Man's connected to Swamp Thing. Um, is tracking down and trying to capture all of the teenage metahumans, which Robin is, Red Robin isn't, by the way. But they go after Red Robin first, and they want to contain them, and they want to have put them under. They want them under control because in the beginning, Kid Flash tries to save somebody in a burning building, and he causes the building to explode actually instead. Right. So it was yet another example of problem. So turns out they try to get they try to capture Red Robin. Of course they can't because he's freaking Red Robin. At least they kept him epic in the relaunch, and it turns out he goes after. He goes and tries to find somebody who's next on their list, which turns out to be Wonder Girl. In this entire issue, the only two people you see are Red Robin and Wonder Girl. This pulls a Justice League. Mm. That, that really You only see two that, so. superheroes. He saves. He goes to save one, uh, Wonder Girl. It's too late. They, they show up. It turns out Wonder Girl has to use her superpowers to stop the, um, the attack. And it ends, actually, and, they, and then she does. And then, spoiler alert... This ends at the exact same point Superboy number one ended, with Superboy preparing to go out into the field. Mm. So right. that's retarded. It's exactly the same. It's repetitive, but 
like the. Uh, Once again, don't agree with the tattoo bullshit barcode on the arm. I hope they abolish that. You? Yeah, no, and I don't like paper on the back. Was and like I don't. The, well, there's no paper anymore. And I don't like the black really stupid like muscle tattoo. shirt and the costume. Mm. It just doesn't. It, it doesn't. They're trying to make him a macho and it makes him like look it. more stupid. In my um, you know, I I don't. And know. I think, in my opinion, I think Kid Flash is Wally West because Bart Allen did not have red hair. Wally West, however, did. Mm. And they have it spiked on the cover, and his hair is not spiked. Yeah, on the cover. I'm, let's the not. costume actually on the inside is a lot different from the costume on the cover. This is the costume on the inside. It is. Here's the costume it's on the inside, much as, yeah. and then on the outside it's different. Maybe he'll change into that. I mean, it's the cover. Yeah. You can't go by the cover. All right, Mike. Yes. Your turn. Like Mike Justice is, League yeah. Dark number, number one. Number one. All right. I liked it. I, I liked, liked it. it too. In this comic book, we it talks about two characters, June Moore. And uh, John Constantine, I think it's John Constantine. There was one scene in the book where I have to show where I was like, what? But then again, I remember about Superman. His yeah. weakness is against Matt. Oh, Matt X Sundu, sorry. Yeah, but that Superman's all the way in the back. Keep going. Yeah, I know. Superman's weakness is magic, so that's that's always been Yeah, like there's that. a scene where uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Cyborg are fighting. Justice League members. Yes, this demonic, cool. witch-like, magic person. And um, I have to say that this part really got me in a whoa. Right here where the teeth marks are going and Superman He's could get hurt. He's shred the people. It's magic! Like Superman's cuts weak against magic. Will you let me finish? Okay, well you're not saying that. Yeah, but anyway, they fight. Um, and then, you know. Then there's a scene where uh, Satana and Batman are... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like where there, where uh, Santana wants to go and Batman wants to go with her, but apparently Santana uses a magic spell on Batman and traps him and traps him in there, and she goes bye bye, which I'm is what. Yeah, but um, yeah, John Constantine's mentioned and Dead Man and Dove. Yeah, mentioned. they said that they came kinda in through cool a magical vortex. I mean, that's like kind of it's like a portal. I, I know that's the exact way I said. And uh, he meets up with uh, uh, Madame Exendu, who is seeing something, and it doesn't look good. It doesn't Neither look that. good. Oh, no, 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 don't give it away. It doesn't look good. Yeah, Check out Justice League. Really I saw the but ending. I will that say the really artwork spoiler. is amazing. I mean, I don't like Sorry, the, guys, you're going to hate me for doing that, but I, check it out. I don't like the new costumes, believe it or not, with the Superman, Wonder Woman, and Cyborg. But they're not part of Justice League. I know, I know, but... After giving two bios of this and seeing the ending part, I am definitely coming back and getting issue two of Just League Dark, so that is going to stay. Well, the Enchantress is who they're going after, really. That's yeah, the Enchantress. Yeah, Enchantress. that's who it was. Thank you. I was trying to figure it out. It was bothering me. I hate that woman. She was in the uh, Flashpoint. She was evil also. She's the one that's going to stop. Because I heard that name like, wait a minute. Was it in Flashpoint or something I'm else? I'm actually showing me a lot of that. I would say pick it up. I think yes, it's issue two Power will be in the next whatever comes. This I got in variant cover form. The variant cover is by I forgot who. Ivan. Oh, Ivan Reich. Duh. Ivan Reich. I like this cover. Flash oh, number one variant cover by Ivan Reich. Reese. Reese. Um, the issue was, eh. Artwork was the same as uh, is it, at least it feels a little bit the same as the other Flash book. Uh, kind of reminded me a bit of Captain Adam's artwork. I'm gonna go check the camera. Yeah. Okay. Go check the camera. Uh, it's coming right. like this. Just to see if the battery's That's okay. Something. I like the way he changes into his costume. Good. Yeah. It's still good. Uh, basically, yeah, uh, these people. On. It was kind of retarded. These people break into this place to steal an item, and uh, they don't get it. Like Barry, for some weird reason, is there already. Like it's a event that he's showing up with with his now dating. He's now dating. What's her name? Um, oh. Patty, because oh. him and Iris are no longer married, if you guys didn't know that already. That's another name that's mm -hmm. too, Patty. No, no, and um, mm -hmm. Iris does show up, and she uses uh, Barry as like a, a, a source to what's going on for her blog. In every single freaking DC comic book, they're talking about YouTube, blogging, vlogging, right. internet, digital iPads. ways. Right. This Stupid. digital age is really Stop dry. pushing yeah. digital freaking comics on us, DC. We understand your comics are digital now. You don't have to promote iPads and, and tablets and uh, blogging they, and live Android. 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 Don't they do that? There are Androids. Here's an iPad. Oh, okay. They do it on commercials. So it turns out one of the guys... 
who broke in ended up dying, and it turned out to be... Yeah, commercials, I heard. Commercials. Yeah. And it turned out to be somebody Wally, uh, Barry knew in the, in the, um, in his past. His name was Manuel. And then later on in the book, actually, Manuel shows up again. And then, huge spoiler alert, actually the last page I'll leave to you guys, but I think Manuel is a clone. And if you see the last page of Flash, you'll know why. The artwork was great, story, eh, on the fence, issue two is going to be the stay or go factor. You'll take yeah, it. Like I'll let you read Flash 1 if you like okay, it. Yeah, two, I'll let you keep it going. Okay, and there's another one. This comic I could not read, so I let Michael read it yes. for me. Uh, what was it now? Uh, All-Star All Western, Western number, number 1. Okay, the guy you see on the cover, his name is Jonah Hex. We all know that. I, I was just making a point. We're not slow. This story, actually, it gives you more of a Batman feeling, but, you know, Batman doesn't have a gun. Because it's in Gotham. Yeah, but it's in Gotham and oh, all yeah, that. Oh, yeah, Gotham City. So, uh, basically, here's what the story's about. Uh, there's, like, a murder scene going on of uh, everywhere, and this guy could actually see through walls, uh... What was his name? Now, correct me if I'm wrong when he goes to the certain things. This is olden times. It is olden times. Yeah, I told him that. Like, you can tell by the way they dress. Yeah, doctor. He's a doctor. Do doctor Arkham, Mike. Doc Arkham? Oh. Doctor Arkham. Yeah, so, uh, Jonah uh, Hex and Doctor Arkham. 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 Arkham Asylum. He's the, the one that Arkham, They go to this bar and, uh, uh, Hex meets up with this prostitute and they ask questions about. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they don't give the name. It's just prostitute. So that's what I'm gonna say. He uh, he starts to find the bar and then the next day or night or so when uh, they found about a silver ring shaped like a skull, which actually interests me. Part because, of a cult, I believe. Right, and that was the murderer of what happened. And then she... No, 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 no. no, no well, actually, no, no. I'm not going to tell you what happened. They leave him a threat to get out of Gotham. And it's in the book. Yeah. So as it goes on, he gets all mad and everything and starts asking questions. So then later on, they go into this uh, ballroom, or so to say, I believe in, where all the organization people meet up. And uh, as I was reading... I've seen what they were wearing, and there was a certain number of people, if, I, if you don't mind showing me this. No, don't show it, that are wearing Yeah, it. there's like eight mm -hmm. people I with that. Wait, I didn't finish what? that. So what's making me come back to issue two is the doctor saying those rings are worn by some of the most powerful, wealthiest men in Gotham. What does it mean, Hex? And then he says, it means a wrong... It was wrong, and things are going to get a lot dangerous for it means us. means I was wrong. Ah, was wrong. Yeah, yeah. like a southern accent. Well, I was wrong, yeah. It means I was wrong! Was that yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, The artwork no, no, was no. amazing. I don't know how you... Really I didn't have a time, chance it. to read it. Yeah. I, I am coming back for issue two, because I got to see what So Mike yeah. has taken yeah. over All-Star Western. Another yes. book that wasn't Wild supposed Wild to make West. it here. Wild Wild West. Green Lantern New Guardians. Really quick, the beginning is all about how Kyle Rayner got his Green Lantern ring. So it's a retelling of how he got his ring again. Again? again. Then it jumps into the present, and so you see real. a yellow lantern, a red lantern, a star sapphire. All of them lose their rings somehow, and the rings just, just wait, fly wait, how, you, how do you lose the ring if it's on the It picture? leaves them. It just leaves them. It how? leaves their hands. You mean it evades them completely? It leaves them. It says, uh, and I quote, um, Red Lantern 1009 decommissioned. No, it leaves them. It leaves. It just goes away. Later on in the book, it goes wow. into New York City where Kyle Rayner is helping to rebuild a certain place, and a little kid actually makes fun now of his... Now I'm not liking it so far. You just shut up and let me finish. Maybe you what will do like you mean? it. A little kid's making fun of his costume. Well, kids are kids. And then it turns out all of a sudden a blue lantern ring shows up, a red lantern ring shows up. Next thing you know, every single ring from every single, uh, Lantern Corps, minus the black and white, of course, because the, there's only one white lantern and the black lanterns have been it abolished. Shown and it turns out they just they keep hovering around him and want him to be. Uh, it never happened, I guess. Want, they basically want him to wear the ring. Reboot. Each ring wants him to. Ha each ring says he's been chosen. Mm. And everybody, uh, well, certain Lantern Corps, the Star Sapphires, Yellow Lantern, and Red Lantern Corps shows up. And then uh, Indigo show up, and they're like, he's stealing their rings. Huge splash model page, and he's like, I'm so going to kill whoever put you up to this. And uh, that's where they leave off. So basically, the rings are being attracted to Kyle, but we don't know why. And everybody thinks he's stealing okay. the rings, but he's not. 
Very brief. This book was very yeah, short. I, I, I mean, if that. you look over the, you can read it later. I don't mind. No, no I'm just. If you look over the um, whole origin of Kyle Rayner becoming a Green Lantern, and uh, all the rings leaving people, you basically the sum up is rings are leaving Lantern, one Lantern from each core, and going to Kyle for some weird reason. He's like drawing these rings in, and it's pissing off one person from each Lantern core, which is people on this cover, minus Orange. And the Blue Lanterns. Blue Lanterns didn't show up either. Oh, yeah, well, was the story was weak compared to the before the reboot. Very short. It felt very short. Yeah, meshed together. Something oh. I am pleasantly surprised oh I got. My God. <clears throat> I was not going to get it. Wasn't yeah. stupid character. Yeah, Glad I got it. Love Worthless. it. Book of the week. What? Uh, that, yeah. Book of the week. I, I was shocked. Myself. I'm, I'm going to explain said, why. Yeah, explain this because you hated it. You were in the book. In the book, he is made fun of throughout the whole book. He's like. The, in the beginning, he stops it. No, it's good. Jeff, God damn you, Jeff Johns and Ivan Reese. You make goddamn terrible characters awesome. First of all, the artwork by Ivan Reese is second to none awesome. But anyway, okay. I'm going to guide you through it. Yeah, guide me through it because he all I know is he told us Okay, fish. there's robbers that are being chased by uh, police and they can't catch up to them. So Aquaman shows up and stops them. And... Uh, First of all, they make him look epic while trying to stop them. Oh, I know. And then everybody's like, why the hell? No, he's not in the book. Oh, no, that's, that's an advertisement. Oh, well, then everybody, then the police are like, why the hell are you here? Why are you here? Do you need a glass of water or something? He gets pissed off and he leaves. And they actually make a joke. They're like, dude, we're going to get slag at the station because we just got one up by Aquaman. Oh, that's like it's a big deal. So then it jumps to a fish restaurant where Aquaman shows up and he wants food. And everybody's shocked. They're like, why are you here? And then they're even more shocked when he orders fish sticks. They're like, how could you eat those things? You talk to them. They're making fun of him. And then this other guy, and this is That's once funny. again where technological age comes in, who's a blogger. He has a huge blog. Oh, God. Here we go again oh, with the computer God. stuff. And he's asking Aquaman, he's asking know. Aquaman a million and more questions. He's like, uh, uh, what are you doing here? Um, what? Why? Why are you wearing your your this shiny new outfit? Who is he? Just some random. And then this is the funny question. Guy? Yeah, random guy who's a blogger. Then he says this. Hey, how does someone like Aquaman pay for anything if you don't have a day job? And they show him at a treasure chest. <laughs> a That's treasure how. Treasure chest. I like the and then here. the best question. I'm gonna skip over everything. The best question was the last one. How does it feel to be nobody's favorite superhero? And then he just gets pissed off and walks out. Then it turns out there's a scene with him and Mira, and he says, I've decided I don't want to go back to Atlantis. I want to stay here and um, let Atlantis find a new king. I want to start a new life with you up here on the surface. And then the new villains, uh, or certain villains that have shown up, I'm sure, for an Aquaman. Let me guess, it's to be continued. To be continued. I figured. It was good. You know what? I felt so bad for Aquaman, the way people were treating him, and he was so cool. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it, and it was, like I said, book of the week. Book they of the really I, 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 am, I am shocked, because yeah, for someone, too. and we're finally... I know, I have one book fine. left. Yep. Superman number one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. I see that look. Yeah, I know. We already know. I already know. I saw it coming. Lois and Clark aren't married anymore. Uh, the mean? Daily Planet was knocked down and then rebuilt by Morgan Edge, who now runs the Daily Planet, as well as GBS, which is now called something else. I have to remember. P, PNS, I believe. Is it PNS? PNS. PNS. Um, as long as it's not M. <laughs> My. Oh, here we go. PGN. Planet Global Network. Basically, now the Daily Planet has print... They do print paper, newspapers, they do a TV, they do a TV news show, newscast, a live blog, they're on the internet, they're on TV, they have a newspaper. And uh, Clark is against the, new, the, the blogging and the TV with Lois going there. He That's thinks that print fine. is still alive. And anyway, um, so Clark is fine with that. He's Superman in the entire, uh, throughout the entire issue. And then uh, they actually show a flashback of when he's, as he's Clark Kent arguing with Lois Lane about um, changing to going to Morgan. There's references to the past. I think Action Comics at some point is going to um, explain better what he's talking about, like because Action Comics is talking mm -hmm. about his origin. Because he mentions uh, a guy called. Um, Still have that whole new personality they so much. 
No, he's pretty, it's alright. Other than the snuffed out part, yeah. it was alright. Um, where was it? Oh, um, I can't remember the guy's name, and I don't want to go crazy looking for him. So I have to go fix something. Oh, he's not a criminal like Glenn Morgan. I'm guessing Glenn Morgan was the person who ran the Daily Planet or ran the company, G, uh, GBS, first. So they're and, really going and back. And Clark hates him. What's GBS saying for? I have no freaking They're really going, way back this is going back to the... But anyway, oh. in the end, there's some type of fire force that comes after oh, Superman yes. and attacks him. Lois Lane, now that she's part of the blogging network, mm -hmm. she's the head. Morgan Edge made her the boss, and Perry White's the boss of the printing. Clark's not going to the, 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 the TV or shit. He's sticking with the print. He says print is still alive. Mm -hmm. And he does. He actually writes an article, and starting in the middle of the book, that's all, all, that, that's all you're reading all the way till the end, where Superman uh, ends up uh, beating the fire thing, and it disappears. And then, of course, the classic ending, the, the ending that everybody saw, where Lois Lane now has a boyfriend. His name is Jonathan. I, ca I don't care about his last name. He's going to end up being killed or walking off at some point. Uh, and Clark going into the elevator alone, so that kind of solidifies they're not even dating at this point. Mm. Artwork was awesome. One thing George Perez does that is so freaking annoying, and thank I God he's only going to be around. Me. George Perez is only going to be writing for seven issues. He's notorious for words. Lots and lots of freaking dialogue. It took me an, uh, about 45 minutes to get through every single piece of dialogue and di and and put it all through my head to get a good um, to get a good uh, opinion of the book. Every page is like splattered with words. I'm sure if the page could be words, the page itself would yeah, be really, words. That page is wow. Seriously, that's every cool. other page. Look, all this is word. Yeah, really. But that one page was like clustered look. together. They're all cut even this page. It's clustered words. Yeah. So in the end, Clark writes a really awesome article. The end, and there's the end of Superman. I'll get issue two. Yeah, I'm gonna stick around. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah. I'll stick around. Not bad. There you guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my 100th comic book review episode. I guess Amber's not coming oh, back. She's gonna say goodbye. Show the, the I am. Hi. Yeah, she's saying goodbye. I'm gonna take it off the tripod so that way I can do the side. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We all enjoyed uh, doing this for you. I'm surprised Amber's not gonna be here to say goodbye at least, but oh well. She's gonna be sitting there on the computer. So huge stack of books this week. Oh, anyway, Superman number one. I'm on the fence with. I'm gonna stick around for a little while. Aquaman one was awesome. Book of the week in my opinion. I'm gonna stick with Aquaman. Green Lantern New Guardians was a, was a really short story for a lot of pages, but I'm sticking around. All Star Western Mike number one. Getting number two. Great. I'm gonna get number two of Flash number uh, of Flash because I'm on the fence with that too. Flash number one. Just League Dark was awesome in my opinion. Amazing. Getting number two. Definitely. Getting number two. Teen Titans number one, I'm on the fence with also. I'll get number two because I'm getting number two of Superboy. Hawkman number one. Uh, four out of ten, I'd say. Yeah. You know, so you're on the fence. On the fence. fence, I don't know. If you guys are like. Fifth, so we're going to get issue two 60, to see. 40, we're yeah. going to get issue two to see yeah. about Joe. Batman the Dark Knight, the number one weaker of the four Batman. Voodoo number one on the fence, going to see. The Fury of Firestorm, uh, I'm on the fence with, so we'll see. I, Vampire Amber, says it sucks. I say it sucks, but yet we're going to stick around for it anyway. Deathstroke number one, I'm on the fence with. Wonder Woman number one was awesome. I'm getting it. Amber says it's good. We're going to get it. Yes. Captain yeah, Adam number one. Captain Adam fan, get it, get it, get it. So Joe's going to come back. Oh, hello, Amber. Catwoman number one was awesome. We're going to get it. Blue Beetle number no, one. Terrible. Drop that issue one. Awful. Batwoman number one, we're going to come back. New Avengers 16.1, we're going to get, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to number 17. Wolverine number 16 grab, Venom number 7 grabs, Amazing Spider-Man 670 grab, FF number 9, trade paperback if you haven't been buying. Wolverine Death, uh, Death of Death, it's one shot is awesome, Annihilator, Earthfall, I'm on the fence. Ghostbusters 1 was awesome in my opinion. Lock and Key I'm going to save for later. Angel and Faith Amber 1 and 2. Yes. And American Vampires, a yes, we'll be seeing And this was again. 100. Yep. All right, guys, so we'll see you in 101 and the next video, which is going to conclude the 100th episode comic book celebration weekend. See you guys there. Hope you enjoyed this 100th episode. All right, everyone. Bye. All right, bye. Bye. bye.